Hi everyone, so today I'm gonna show you how I turned the 500 volt range of this old analog DC multimeter or voltmeter into a 5000 volt range which I'm gonna soon use to monitor the charge on a high voltage capacitor. So let's get right into it and I'm gonna tell you how I did this. So this conversion is actually quite easy, but before we can do it, we have to understand how this meter works. And that's actually quite simple. We basically have a lot of resistors in here, and then of course the analog scale, which is in here. And by turning this selector knob, we're basically just switching between how many resistors we have in series with this um, dial over here. And so what we basically have to do is we have to measure the resistance in the range we want to modify, in this case five, the 500 volt range, and we have to measure on these two points what the resistance is. In my case, the resistance is about 2.511 mega ohms, which we can see here. Then we have to basically multiply that by nine if we want to make it 10 times less sensitive. And then we get a value of 22.599 mega ohms. So we have to make a resistor array, which has a resistance of 22.6 mega ohms. And then we'll have to put that in series with the meter. And like that, we will make it 10 times less sensitive. So you basically have to multiply the internal resistance of the meter by the factor of um, how much you want to reduce its sensitivity minus one. So yeah, basically when I want to have 10 times less sensitivity, I just multiply the internal resistance of the meter by nine. If I want to have 100 times less sensitivity, then I multiply the meter's internal resistance by 99, and so on. So, yeah. Now, I hope um, this makes sense to you all. And yeah, now let's test it out and see if it actually works or if it will just end in a puff of smoke. Here we now have the test setup. We have the meter over here, then for putting out the few thousand volts so that we can measure something, we have this microwave oven transformer, but the microwave oven transformer obviously puts out AC and this meter only measures DC. So we have a single diode rectifier here, a high voltage diode of course, and a high voltage microwave oven capacitor to smooth the voltage. Then here we have our resistors, they'll later be put in heat shrink, but this has to do for now. And then the negative end is connected with the core or the chassis of the transformer. And here we are expecting about 3000 volts, because the output voltage of the microwave oven transformer is roughly about 2100 volts. But we are, since we're rectifying it, we will be charging this capacitor over here to the peak voltage of the 2100 volt sine wave. And we can calculate that by multiplying the output voltage of the transformer by the square root of 2, which is 1.414. But I've put it like this in the calculator, which also works. And then we get about 2,970 volts. So we're expecting roughly 3,000 volt, give it or take maybe 100 volts, a few hundred vol volts more or less. So yeah, let's test this out and we'll see how it works. Also, this setup is a bit sketchy for multiple reasons. First of all, we have the resistors uninsulated over here and we have the high voltage diode also not insulated here. And the breaker, which I'm gonna to use to turn it on, is very close to this high voltage terminal. So this is definitely something I have to be aware of. And I'm gonna to try to 
be as far away from the terminal as possible, like this for example. But yeah, with that out of the way, let's test this out. Okay, let's go. We have the entire setup over here now. And if everything works according to plan, we should see the needle right about here at the 3000 volt mark. And yeah, let's just try this out. The breaker is off. Let's plug this in. And let's see, I'm nervous. Okay, we got a big spike in voltage and we are a bit over 3000. So this thing seems to be working, which is great. So now let's turn it off and see how long it takes to go down. Because now the internal resistors of the capacitor, of the capacitor is discharging it. And this is looking good. This is looking sweet. Let's try it again. Great. It appears to be working. So that was basically it. We tested everything, it worked, and yeah, and there's one other neat little thing I want to show you. And that is with the voltage we measured on this meter, uh, we can actually calculate the output voltage of this mod right here. And that is that the output voltage was something a bit under 3400 volts DC after the rectification. But if we want to calculate the RMS voltage of the transformer, then we basically have to take the voltage we got on the meter, which let's say it was about 3380 volts, and divide it by the square root of 2. And then we get about 2400, let's say about 2400 volts. And of course that also works when you um, write in the square root of 2 manually, which is 1.414, then we also get the same result. And that makes sense that this transformer puts out about 2400 volts and not the 2100 volts of your typical MOT because this transformer is actually quite a bit larger than your regular MOT. So it just makes sense that it has a higher output voltage and this one should have a lower one. So that was it. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope I see you in the next one. Stay safe and have fun. I'm out.